This video lesson is all about master and sub documents. I just wanted to start by showing you that I've only got one document here called Black Gold Master. I'm opening that document and here it is. The starting point for master and sub documents is outline view. We looked at this in the last video, so if you haven't watched that yet, I strongly recommend you go and look at it. Just as a reminder, we clicked on view and then outline to get to the outline view. In the last video, we worked with the left hand side of the toolbar about the levels of the text, promoting and demoting the text, moving the segments up and down and showing the various levels. In this section, we're going to carry on along and use the right hand side of the toolbar, which is all about master and sub documents. Master and sub documents are a way of subdividing a document into a series of smaller documents. The benefit of this is that it enables people to work on the separate documents at separate times, but the master document will always be updated. That's why I wanted to show you right at the beginning that I only had one document here. So let's look at what we've got. We've got our one document. Um, with various headings and subheadings in it. What I would like to do is break down this document so that each subheading is a document in its own right. So I'm just going to show just my level two sections. And just a reminder that each section has got body text inside that section. So if I double click the plus sign, you can see inside there's the body text. So what I want to do is create a sub document, a document in its own right of Y compost with all its associated text all the way down to how do you make a compost pile. Close that up again by double clicking. OK, I've got my subheading selected. And what we do to create a sub document is use the toolbar icon create a sub document. So I'm just going to click on that once. See it's put a box around the outside and it shows the left hand side there that it is a doc, uh, sub document. I switch to normal view, a uh, print layout view, the normal view that we work in. You'll see there's no changes. Document is still as it was. Back into outline view. And I've just switched now to show you that I've still only got one document there. Because, of course, we haven't saved this document. We haven't saved any changes. So I'm going to save this document now. And switching to show you the documents I've got, you can see I've now got two documents. One called Y Compost and one called Black Gold Master. The Y Compost one is the text that was created by making my sub document. So switching back into my main document, I'm going to repeat the process. I'm going to make a sub document out of every subheading. And we'll make one out of the, the final heading as well. We'll save the document and I'll just switch and show you. There's all the sub documents that have been created. If I open up one of these documents, you'll see it just contains the, the subheading and the text associated with that subheading. The effect of this creating sub documents out of the main document can be shown if I use this icon, collapse sub documents. What that does, it collapses down each sub-document sub to its smallest part, which is a hyperlink. So basically what we've done is we've created a document with a series of hyperlinks in it. Each hyperlink goes to one of the sub-documents. So I'm going to close this document now, the master document, and then I'm going to reopen it. And you can see the hyperlinks are still there. I 
and if I switch to print layout, oh, the hyperlinks are still there. And that is correct. When you're working with master and sub documents, the print layout view shows you the hyperlinks unless and just notice this part here why it's different unless when you go into outline view you collapse or expand the document so I'm going to click on expand the documents and it basically opens up all those hyperlinks for me one of the things that you have to bear in mind now is that any changes you make to this is live in your sub documents so you can make changes here and your sub documents will be updated you can make changes in the sub documents and this may this master document will be updated so if you take one of these subheadings and make it into a different level that will be happening in your sub documents so you can imagine in our office perhaps we might have one worker creating the document how do you make a compost pile they could be working on that another one could be working on what is the cost another one could be working on hot and cold it doesn't have to be at the same time they can log on to their computer and work on those documents at any time and then when you open the master document and expand all your documents and when you're going to the print layout, all those changes will be apparent and always up to date. That's master and sub documents accessed via the outline view. A couple of other documents, things that we can do there, just to shrink things down. You can delete a document, sorry, not um, shrink down, we need the documents in the normal state. When you've got a sub-document, you can remove it, you can stop it being a sub-document by clicking on the red cross, that removes the sub-document, it deletes the sub-document from your folder system, but the text still stays in your main document. Let me just save that, and that's called what's the cost? Although the document is still there, it's no longer linked to this main document. So the text here is in your master document, not in a sub-document. If you want to remove it from the master document as well, then you just delete the text in the normal way. That's removing a sub-document. You can also insert a document that already exists. You can choose where in your document you want it to be and do insert and go looking for a document to put into your main document. We'll try this one. It's not, not the same. Um, okay, you can see there I've inserted the Cockermouth document into my master document. And I'm collapsing it down using the collapse sub documents. You can see now I'm a Cockermouth. Cockmouth document is there as a sub document. That's master and sub documents. The real benefit is you can have different people or yourself working on documents at different times. But whenever you open your master document and expand your document and then go back into print layout, all those changes that you've made are live in your master document. The kind of area this is often used in is perhaps um, a company's policy documents. They might have a policy on health and safety, data protection, copyright. They might have separate documents with all the details in about those policies and they would all be linked into a master document that is always up to date. Master and sub-documents.